What's up guys, welcome to my coffee shop, Rise and Grind in Oakland, California. In this video, I'm gonna go over what it's like to actually open one, own one, and the truth, and nothing but the truth. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome inside. Please excuse the mess, because we're actually relocating from this spot right here to the spot next door. But let me go over what we did with this place, all right? Yeah. So as you can see right when you walk in, we had a real special artist paint this mural that wraps around the whole wall, right? Come over on this side, we have a little flower wall. Because honestly, if the coffee shop isn't aesthetic, you're not gonna make a whole lot of money. Today, your coffee has to be good, but also Instagrammable. Coffee shops are really good because as you can see in the back, we don't need a hood. All you really need is a countertop space and a little room for the fridges in the back. Let me show you guys. So this is it. See, that's why coffee can be so nice because unlike a restaurant where you have to build out, you know, stove, hood, dishwasher, blah, 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 blah. All that stuff costs a lot. Everything we need is right here. As you can see, you got the register, you have your grinders, the espresso machine, the rinser on the right. Here you have the fridge, the ice machine, hot water tower, coffee maker, coffee grinder, and a little pastry box in front. That's all you need to get this coffee shop up and off the ground and making money. So let me talk about some of the costs. So as of date, I've built three coffee shops. The first one costs $175,000. The second one costs 300,000, and this one right here costs a little under 35,000. If you wait till the end, I'm gonna explain to you why this one was significantly cheaper and how you can take the same strategy and open your own coffee shop for a fraction of the price. So look, what's some of the most expensive piece of equipment you're gonna have? So from that $35,000, the bulk of that was this machine right here. This machine alone was 13,000 plus tax. Then came the ice machine. The ice machine in the back was another $1,500. Each one of these grinders are about 1,000 each. The square register is about $800 or so. The pastry box on Amazon is a 200 bucks. But check this out, okay? If you work with a coffee supplier, you can actually get them to throw in the hot water tower the coffee maker, and the grinder for free as long as you buy their coffee. That's the hack. So what's the truth about owning a coffee shop? What I love about it is that the margins are pretty high. What I don't like about it is that like any brick and mortar store, you have a lot of payroll expenses. And here in California, guys, they just keep jacking up the minimum wage. And look, I love paying my people more money but ultimately we have to jack up the price of our goods because otherwise you're just not gonna be in business for very long. Which leads me to my next headache, which is the rising cost of supplies. You know, when we just got into the business, coffee was significantly cheaper, eggs, milk. We go through a ton of milk, right? And we like to use high quality ingredients, so we always go for the big brand that we love, Clover. But unfortunately, Clover went from $6, $7, and I think now they're closer to $9 a gallon. So when you guys are getting mad at the owners for saying our lattes are too expensive, don't check me, check the cows. But what I love a lot about the coffee business is that it's very stable. And it doesn't matter if it's raining or if it's sunny, people need their coffee. It's like a drug. Looks kind of cute. Are you good? I did good. I did good. And so what happens is you start to see a very steady sales trend and hopefully if you do a good job, it just continues to stay very high and you're earning a profit. But I also own a business like Boba Shop where you notice that during the rainy season or the cold season, your sales significantly drop. Doesn't happen so much with the coffee business. Another thing I love about the coffee business is that you can be very creative. You don't have to be your traditional coffee shop that only offers lattes, cortados, you know, mochas, you can be like us, which is to have a creme brulee latte, Vietnamese coffee, egg custard coffee. We're able to do all these cool things that allows you to be creative, right? And then you get to see your customers drink it, they enjoy it, makes you feel good inside. 
thanks for sticking around. Now let me share with you why this shop was significantly cheaper to open than number one and number two. See what I did for number one was I bought out an existing business and we bought it out for $75,000 and it was already a coffee shop but it was ugly. So I took that extra $100,000 and I remodeled the place. Put new equipment in, new flooring, new paint, new decor and that's how much it cost to open up the first store. The second store we actually decided to take a blank canvas and convert it to a coffee shop. And guys, I've learned that that is the wrong way to do it. And that's why we had to hire architects, plumbers, deal with the health department again, deal with the building department. The holding costs took a lot longer. The construction timeline took a lot longer. And we ended up spending over $300,000 to open up the second location. Way more than we were supposed to spend and then also, I learned never do that again. And that you should always just either buy out an existing business and remodel it, or do what we did for store number three. Store number three, which is the one that we stayed in right now, okay? This one was significantly cheaper to open was because the owner of this space had already put in all the plumbing. They already did all the work and basically made it very turnkey to open up a coffee shop. So we didn't have to spend the 75,000 because there was no business that we needed to buy out. So really all we had to do was just come into this already beautiful space, add a little thing like the flower wall, the mural, and then the equipment. And that's why we only spent about $35,000 to get this place up and running in two weeks, guys. So we were able to generate money like almost immediately. So if you're watching this video, you're probably are thinking about opening a coffee shop. And so let me give you guys some tips. Opening a coffee shop will absolutely be hard. It's not as bad as a restaurant, but it's still a brick and mortar store, which has long hours. You have to have multiple employees, so you're managing multiple personalities. And you, know, you, you still have to worry about the food wastage. It's a tough business, guys, and most coffee shops will fail. But don't let that discourage you. If you're not afraid of hard work, and you're willing to persevere, find a good location, and actually go and create a good quality product with good ingredients, you will do well. And the average coffee shop makes about $2,000. So you can expect to take home anywhere from 15 to 20% of that. So I'll let you do the math on how much you actually make with the coffee shop. And you know, this is a labor of love. You have to love people. You have to love the creative side of creating the coffee and making it good and seeing happy customers. And if that's you, come on guys, go out there, make it happen. If you guys have any questions, comments, or want to start a coffee shop, hit the comment section down below. You know, I'll help what I can.